Hi, Steve here from Steve's Internet Guide. In this video, we're going to look at creating an MQTT broker with Cloud MQTT. Now, Cloud MQTT is a cloud based platform for creating and deploying uh, managed cloud hosted MQTT brokers. The URL is there. Now, cloud based broker is available 24 7 from anywhere in the world. It's very easy to set up and it uses a, a web based interface. Now, Cloud MQTT is, is one of what's likely to be many um, cloud-based platforms providing MQTT broker services just like there are many platforms providing shared web hosting services. Now Cloud MQTT provides several hosting plans I'm going to be using the free plan in this video. The features of the plans uh, are basically the same they, they differ in the number of client connections supported and the data throughput that you can get on the different plans and I'll show you them in, in a second. However before we look at the different hosting plans the all the hosting plans are shared plans and what that means is that you have a single bit of ser server hardware here running multiple mos mosquito brokers and these mosquito brokers are all running on different ports so broker 1 is on port X and broker 2 is on port should be Y and broker 3 is on port Z so they're all running on different ports and we'll see that when we configure the brokers themselves if you go to the Cloud MQTT website uh, under pricing you can see the different hosting plans I'm using this one here the QtCat hosting plan and you can see it's limited to 10 connections and 10 kilobytes per second but this one is free and then we go up into the different hosting plans and you can see uh, they support uh, more connections and more throughput let's just log in just click on the login button here now I'm on my um, login screen here and you can see I've already configured three test brokers here you know even though it's a free plan I can actually configure multiple brokers it's, I'm just limited um, to what I think it was one kilobit per second on all of those instances so to create a new instance you just click on here create new instance all you need to do is type in a name for the instance call it the test 4 and we're going to use the QCAT plan and we're going to host it in Ireland you can see they're actually using Amazon Web Services behind behind the scenes and then we just click on create a new instance and it's up and running now to edit this we can just go and click on edit and we can really just only edit the name here now if we go back to find more details of this uh, host we just click on here test 4 and it gives me the details it's on server m23 the user is this the password is this and the port is this and if I want to use SSL it's this port and if I want to use WebSockets, it's this port and it tells me the connection limit and it's already started and I can restart it here now I can add additional users there and I can configure access control list further down here I can configure bridges and I can look at the the log which they started there okay these details you'll need when you configure the the client now I'm just going to test this before I I delete it so let me use the uh, mosquito pub tool so here we are the mosquito pub uh, client tool and I just typed in the server the port the username the password and a test message and a, a test topic and you can see here it was successful if I just change that slightly and just change the password you can see it doesn't work. To delete it you just click on edit and you scroll down and you can see delete instance and we type the name of the instance which is test4 and pick a reason and we just delete it 
and there it is removed there okay just to finish off there's a, a written tutorial on the site and here's the URL here and if you go to that uh, tutorial you'll find a couple of links at the bottom of the tutorial uh, to other articles or tutorials that you might find useful I say that's the end of the video if you've got any comments then use the comment form below if you like the video then use the like button below and if you want to be notified of new videos then you can always subscribe to the channel until next time bye